Hi YouTube. Um, today I'm going to be trying to do an outfit, no, yeah, outfit of the day kind of thing. So, and it's kind of a weird one. Um, basically, the purpose of this outfit of the day thingy that I'm trying to do is I have a lot of these um, club outfits and ensembles, things that you wear out to like a lounge or out to go clubbing and dancing and listening to music. But here's the thing, it's not so much that I've outgrown my party phase as is that everyone around me has outgrown their party phase. And the idea of me going out and dancing and all that stuff alone is really dangerous. I don't go out by myself wearing these kinds of clothes. So I'm going to be trying to show you how you can take an outfit that was designed to be worn out like to salsa or to smoke hookah or to drink a little bit. How you can take those outfits and actually turn them into like an everyday kind of just go out for a walk in the park, go on a picnic, Maybe take your cat for a walk because that's what I do with my spare time. Yeah, so I'm going to start off with this outfit that I'm wearing. It's a tad bit revealing. This was an outfit that I wore to go out. I only got a chance to wear it one time and I never really took pictures in it. I just think it's so cute. I love this color. It's a romper. And obviously it's a bit low cut, so it shows a little cleavage. What I did was I just put on an undershirt because I didn't want to reveal that much. Plus, I don't really have <laughs> that much to reveal there anyway. But yeah, it's a romper and it's so cute and it makes my butt look awesome, which is nice. And I really like the way that it contrasts my skin complexion. I don't know. I just, I really love this color. For like a walk in the park or like just to go out, since I can't really wear it, any other time I've got some white sneakers on and I just paired it with this jean jacket to kind of cover up my arms and to keep me warm to get cold and yeah so that's one club outfit turned regular outfit I think. okay so another one is this dress right um, it's really designed to wear out to like a lounge or a club or something like that but I never really had an opportunity to go out in it so I tried to figure out how I can turn this into something a little more actually business casual um yeah so this is another one and you can wear this and I like it because it's long it, can, it you know it comes down to the knees so it's it's pretty classy and I think with this little sweater it kind of dresses it down a bit makes it look a little more professional and you can wear it with flats, heels or um, like some sneakers <laughs> okay and I have another one so I have these leather shorts which are probably gonna, I don't know, be a little difficult. And I have this netted top that, and it has like all this cool, funky writing around the bust area, and then the rest is like knitted. And usually I would wear something like this swimming, or, but I really haven't had any opportunities to go swimming either. So, yeah, I'm gonna pair these two, because I kind of like them. Yeah. Okay. So this is how that looks. I actually kind of stole this look slash idea from Karushi Tran. I just kind of follow some of her um, outfits and ensembles because I feel like I'm around about her size and it's cool to kind of see like how to dress when you're tiny. Because um, I feel like I honestly have no curves. So I tucked in this netted sweater thing. Um, I'm wearing a black cami underneath and these are the leather shorts and I like them because they have pockets which I think are kind of cool. I would also pair these with a pair of other white or black sneakers 
I'm a sneakers kind of gal. I'm not really into like heels and stuff. But you can totally, I think, wear these with a pair. Wear this with a pair of heels. I would just prefer to be comfortable and kind of dress down. Okay, here is another idea for those same black leather shorts. I don't know. I'm really into carrying with me like a sweater or something, and I really like the tie around the waist look. I think the shorts are still cute. I love this white top. I always keep plain white and black tees, and this is actually a new one, and I like it with the white sneakers. It's a real like bounce off colors. I love the splash of red. And then if you get cold, this is one of like my favorite hoodies. I really love this sweater. Like. I got this sweater from Rainbow, which I don't even know, like I haven't seen a rainbow in a really long time. And I feel like it makes me look like a cute gangster. <laughs> That's really weird, I know. But I love this, I love this top, this hoodie. Um, I've never paired it with these shorts, but I'm kind of digging it. I would, I would probably tuck it in. Yeah. yeah. I'm just kind of. Yeah. I love representing New York. I was born there, not raised, but born. So, and I like them with the white kicks. I think this is really cute. So, ah. okay. So this one is a little daring. I actually wore this to an event. Um, what, birthday party, birthday celebration? But I am a strong believer that if you pair a blazer with just about anything, you can make it business cash. So that's what I'm trying here. I don't know. I would button it up. Yeah, and this is my last one. I would probably pair these with either flats or heels. Um, and yeah, this is it for my Turner Slutty Club dress into something else. I don't remember where I got most of the things that I showed you today. Um, a combination of Rainbow, Walmart, Ross, Macy's, Marshalls. And now that I'm living in China, I do a lot of shopping and uh, from Bao Pao's. And also hand-me-downs. A lot of these things were just hand-me-downs. I'm really small so pretty much when people outgrow things I'm the first person that they come to so yeah like some of those dresses were given to me by friends I'm gonna be honest with you like I'm pretty cheap when it comes to shopping for clothes I'm not a big shopper what I do most of the time when I look at these outfit of the days in these hauls and if you're anything like me then you do this as well I just kind of replicate like I don't actually go shopping on Fashion Nova based off of like what I've seen. I don't actually go shopping to the places that are listed in the descriptive the description box. Like I don't actually utilize those to purchase anything. I just grasp ideas like, oh I have a pair of shorts like that or oh I have a jean jacket just like that. I can totally pair that with my oversized hoodie. Like I just kinda if you do that then this is the wrong thing to watch because I don't know where I got any of this stuff. It, these are just ideas and concepts. If you have a slutty club dress and you don't go out anymore, it's just kind of in your closet, like you can try to wear that to work. Like I do. When you throw on a blazer, it works. You can disguise anything as business casual. But yeah, if you're looking for any of those items, try Rainbow, um, City Trends, Macy's, Marshalls, any place that shows that sells ugh, any place that sells cheap clothing um walmart you can try any of these places and i can guarantee you you will find a regular plain white t-shirt those black leather shorts i highly doubt that they're difficult to find or at least they're like really common here in china so those are easy to find jean jackets you can probably find just about anywhere um little gray sweaters like you can probably find I had that so long ago I honestly feel like I've had that since I was in middle school or high school so yeah anyways I hope you guys enjoyed this I hope this was somewhat helpful it's really nice meeting you all okay if you like my videos 
please feel free to subscribe or like if you don't like it. I prefer if you didn't hit the dislike button. Like, I prefer if you just like hit the back button in the upper left hand corner and just like go click on any other video on YouTube. Bye! But it's an outfit. Oh gosh, those thighs. You can't see. Huh? Let me lift this outside.